Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at the Sinka area, one of my favorite places to visit. This is where I would say the most of the affluent Liberians and foreigners live. Uh, people who actually are making about $30,000 a month. I've talked to a few people that lives in the area. Before we go further, though, let's jump into the sponsor of this video, and that is Vision Estate. Vision Estate is bringing affordable modern houses to Liberia in the Brova area. Now, these homes will be going for under $20,000. I'll talk more about this later. Let's jump back into the video. Now, this area is uh, pretty nice. Typically, when we go uh, to Liberia, this is where we stay. And um, I like it. Uh, it's very calm. Um, it's, it's safe. I did a video on this location uh, last year, I uh, think, uh, for... A certain part of the area but this time around i decided to come back and just kind of drive around more and see any if there are any differences from last year i can tell you for sure that there are a lot more development going on in the Senko area uh in the, like the around uh the police academy area around the uh uh where is this place around uh, the rehab area and places like that now it's it, it's nice um i do see that there are more people moving into the area these are where um some of the businesses are moving their headquarters um, and also people who do own businesses in town uh in like the main city center downtown uh broad street area or in the Sinka area duporo area and things like that uh, those big business owners are living in this area now um the last time I was in this area, they, they did have uh, like a city cleaners uh, who were moving around, picking up trash and things like that. And there are still uh, city cleaners uh, in this area. Now, as you can see, they're building modern homes like the one on the left here. Uh, it's gone a little bit further than the last time I was there. Uh, people are building modern looking homes in this area. Um, and also, this is where you can find most of your nice affordable uh, not that affordable but kind of affordable guest houses uh in this area now um as far as living condition uh, i just want to speak on my general view of my recent visit to liberia now i can tell you the last video i made um you guys probably saw the title it was more of a downer video i felt really drained i felt hopeless a little bit about my experience but of course i knew that um i had hope um and i, I knew that things would get better so upon my recent visit just a couple days ago uh, to liberia um i can tell you man i have a renewed faith in the country i never really lost faith uh, entirely in liberia at all uh, but I can tell you that the country is definitely moving forward. Um, a lot of people are uh, thinking forward. Uh, even the youth are, are thinking of the future forward as far as what they can do to contribute to the country. Uh, what are some of the things or facilities uh, the country is lacking? And uh, and yeah, they're, they're definitely thinking about that. As far as investors, uh, there are uh, quite a few investors coming to Liberia now especially um, for those who have found a group of people or person that they can really uh, entrust their funds and their investment and their plans and um, aspiration for for their wealth and growth of, of the country overall um they're coming definitely so um and i can tell you for sure that uh my visit this time was more of an upbeat visit um, even though there are still some challenges as usual but people are thinking forward people are doing more local liberians are building local liberians are uh, moving uh, forward in their investment their business and things like that so it's good to see i can tell you for sure that um people are, are, are do not want to stay the same they don't want to um you know stay the same way they were a few years ago uh, everybody wants to improve in their lives people wants to um you know do better for themselves and their families and things like that and that shows in the way things are done in the, the kind of businesses that are popping up 
and a lot of buildings that, that people are building like you can see here people are putting up uh, either apartment complexes people are putting up guest houses hotels and the good thing though is a lot of these are um being done by librarians uh so that's what i've always wanted um that's kind of what i wanted to see what well, not wanted to see but hoping to see really um and i've seen that that's happening um but this area if you're looking if you're somebody looking to move to liberia i can tell you that um this would be a great area to live um however though you know just uh make sure your wallet is fat um because it is going to cost you a little bit um to live in, in places like this because it is secure um as you can see fences are you know up barbed wire is up and things like that uh, but not just that it's just the area the kind of people you see around you in the area are people of the same stature um, as you and uh, security room in the area quite or quite often as well and uh, so yeah if you're somebody looking to move to Liberia relocate to Liberia visit Liberia invest in Liberia this would be a good place and you don't want that uh, harsh transition right you don't want to move from you know a lifestyle you're used to to straight third world uh, kind of lifestyle this is a great place to kind of start off and uh, where you still have most of the uh, same amenities as you do have currently uh, you know if you're living in America or Europe Asia and things like that so um, yeah man it's just a great feeling to see uh, Liberia uh, somewhat of uh, the beautiful side of Liberia uh, relatively and uh, in what people are doing and the kind of life people are living in this area as well. Um, it's good to see. And, you know, it was, it was a great time, especially we went at a great time as well. Um, the weather was kind of great. Um, it wasn't too hot. Um, I think by next month, by December, it's going to be a little hotter. Uh, but now it, was, it wasn't it was too hot. And um, it, was a, it was a great overall visit. I came back very renewed um, and uh, optimistic about the country from what I saw um, and and things are moving every time I go back I see things that wasn't there before that has been uh, put in place um, I see people are moving forward with their lives I see businesses are growing I see new investors are coming I see Liberians uh, are coming are coming by by the numbers to do something for their country uh, in their country so that's good to see and uh hopefully in the next few years now hopefully i know for sure in the next few years liberia is just going to be it's going to be way ahead of uh, where it is now uh, i predict in the next 10 years liberia will be the place you will want to go and visit um and spend time with your or move your family to or move entirely and work and do everything there um it will be like those vacation places that you like to go to currently um, so yeah, that's kind of what um, the entire vibe is. Uh, the country is still there, um, and you know things are moving forward. Uh, again, there are challenges as, as any country will have, uh, so just gonna be prepared for that. But other than that, I'll say, man, it's uh, it was a good time. It was a good time, definitely. Um, typically, every day we end up at the beach. Yeah, uh, that's where we're going now, and uh, just to relax and you know just take it all in, man. But there it is. Have a wonderful day, guys. I'll see you in the next video.